what's happening guys i'm dan and i'm back with another craft brew review it is that time of the year again guys we had to pick up a bell's hop slam because why not we do it every single year yes we've had it many many times i think i've even reviewed this before but it's always fun to get it again guys i don't know how much has changed with this recipe over the past how many years they've produced this but it's always fun to explore and see if anything did change um, so let's crack into this one guys this is again hop slam from bells this is incredibly aromatic bitter balanced drink it fresh like now so we're gonna do that guys this is 10 percent abv and i'm literally cracking right into this um on the bottom of the can we have a canned on date of one six 20 so today is the 15th of january guys super duper fresh that's the way i like my hop slam if i'm going to have one guys so um let's see what this one's about i'm gonna put this down probably gonna share this with a few other people because i'm not gonna drink six hop slams i'm just gonna be honest unless i really like this one this year so let's see what's up guys well for a little pour you know how it is we've done hop slam many times guys Pouring a very nice burnt orange golden amber hue to it, guys. Solid carbonation and bubbling streaming to the top. You can see that sucker. Um, kind of like a uh, golden orange to yellow, but again, kind of reminiscent of that burnt orange amber sunset kind of vibes to it, guys. Um, super duper not compacted, but actually spaced out bubbling going on, almost two fingers of head. It's kind of off white, solid lacing going on guys. But again, I think that's gonna dissipate at 10% at here. Hop slams, no slouch of an ABV of a beer. So again, really nice carbonation streaming up to the top guys. Let's go to an aroma through this thick foamy head, although it should go away. Big jump of hops, guys. They put a ton of hops into Hop Slam. Obviously, we know this. Um, solid, bready, malty backbone to this. I'm getting like more fruity citrus out of this than I remember. There is like an oily pininess to it, but it's almost on the sweeter side of, of fruity to kind of like apricot jelly on some doughy bread, guys. She actually smells super nice. Um, again, kind of getting those West Coast vibes, but it's mixed with a, like a kind of a fruitier tropical medley going on that I don't really remember out of, out of Hop Slam. I could be wrong. It's been a long time, guys. It's been a solid year since I've had Hop Slam. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and taste this, guys. Let's see what we're working with this year. Cheers. Definitely oily pine citrus going on in here, guys. Certainly on the oiler, oil, oiler, the oilier side. It's tough to say. You try it. Um, but yeah, it's actually, it's quite smooth. Upper medium mouthfeel. It's pretty full, pretty viscous, a little bit syrupy. There's certainly, I'm getting, again, if you want to say honey, I am getting that sweetness in this for sure. But I get like a very malty, doughy breadiness that has like a layer of like apricot jelly over the top of that bread, guys. It's really reminiscent of that. I don't know why that's coming to my mind, but I am getting that like kind of uh, apricot jelly on a bready of doughiness, on a bready of doughiness. I'm really good today. I had a long night last night. Bear with me here. So again, guys, very, very malty, quite doughy. Getting like this sweeter, like citrusy vibe that I don't recall in Hop Slam. I do remember it having some of that quality in it, but it seems like it's a little bit more vibrant this year. Definitely this oily, piney, uh, drier presence on the back end, but it is quite sweet on the front end with that breadiness. Um, overall, it is quite dry on the back end. I do like the way this is kind of well rounded out, but it is it is a hint syrupy, guys. It is ten percent ABV. They have to drive that mold into this beer. Um, it's not like it's a crusher. If we're just being completely honest, this is not a crusher at ten percent. There's a, a slight bit of warming going down. I, I, they do hide the alcohol quite well, 
But yeah, there's like this, definitely like this orange skin, a little bit of grapefruity quality in this. Um, but I, I do get a little bit of like this like apricot jelly-ish sweet honey vibes. Obviously, that's probably what it's reminding me of is, is it's really the, the um, honey in this beer. But it, it works really well with that doughiness. It really does. Um, and I do like the kind of viscous, uh, kind of just piney bitter back end it's got to it. It's not overly bitter though. It's actually well-rounded. It's not, it's not too bad. But <clears throat> saying all that, we, we've had this many, many times, guys. It doesn't blow me out of the water anymore. Um, maybe I'm biased now because I don't, I don't just love this beer. I just, the style for me has... Uh, kind of come and gone because I don't like these 10% double IPAs as much as I once did. I'm not saying it's not excellent quality because it is. Uh, but but for me, I want drinkability. I want a little bit less ABV. And I want something that I can crush and kind of have a couple of. This, I'm not having two hop slams. Uh, it's just not up my alley anymore, guys. It's just not where I sit when I want a beer. So um, that being said, it's still good. It's still very nice quality. Bells is still producing a very nice beer here. Uh, quite pricey. I think they're $16.99 and it's actually, it could be more. It could be $18.99, $19.99. People kind of price gouge on this. That's where, you know, you kind of lose me too with that, with that uh, price gouging. So, excuse me. I had a rough night last night. Bear with me. So, Saying all that, guys, where I stand with Hop Slam this year, it is a little bit more vibrant, a little bit fruitier, a little bit more kind of like citrus, tropical, fruity, if you will. I don't, I almost don't recall it having that uh, vibrant citrus note in it. Reminds me a lot of Too Hearted. There's got to be a little bit of Too Hearted in here, too, guys. There's, there is a nice uh, floral decadence on the back end of this beer, too. Uh, certainly sticks out with, with everything. Um, but I think where I'm going to put this one, guys, is like a 3.8 out of 5. I, I, again, love the quality, love the beer. Um, but for me, this style has come and gone, and I like more drinkability. I like a little bit lower ABV on my beers, guys. So that's where I stand with this one. Thank you so much for joining me. This was, again, another year of Bell's Hop Slam, guys. Get with the program if you haven't had it. Go ahead and try it. Um, should be widely distributed as well. So I'm Dan, guys. I'm over and out. I'll see you guys on the next one.